Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. So today we're headed to the dumpsters as always. Not sure where we're going. We're gonna wing it a bit, but let's jump right into it and save the world one dumpster at a time. Big lots dumpster. all this stuff it looks gross they like dumped out goo I don't know all right They destroyed this dumpster so bad. So gross. That's it in this dumpster. Party City dumpster. Looks like just a lot of boxes. Yeah, just layers and layers. Nothing here. Pet store dumpster. I already see something awesome over there. Ooh, and some cat litter. All right.
And that's it in this dumpster. The candle dumpster. Nothing but dirt in this dumpster. Pharmacy dumpster. the dumpster. That's it in this dumpster. This is what we got at the pet store dumpster. So we got three fish tanks. We have this one down here. It is a top fin fish tank. It came with the filter and the net for the fish. We have that top fin fish tank, which is a smaller tank than the one beneath it, which is pretty neat because this five gallon fish tank has like a above water looking thing where the fishes can hang out. I don't know, it's pretty neat. We also got this cat food, Nulo cat food, a pet travel carrier. The um, backpack strap was cut, but I can resew it. And then the side of it was also cut, but I can also sew that up because they cut it in a straight line. So that's perfect. We got a Market Medley natural Timothy Hay bag. They did destroy it pretty well, but I can just open that up and put it in my backyard for my rabbits that hang out back here so it doesn't go to waste. And then last but not least, we have this Fresh Step Clean Paws Low Tracking Litter with Febreze. It is opened, but that's just fine. I'll close it up and donate it to the animal shelter. I just opened up one of the fish tanks and this is literally appalling. So someone wrote on it in Sharpie. It says, F U dumpster diving broke beep. You are a beep. And that is literally horrendous. I'm like covering the words because I don't want you guys to see the bad swear words, but so, so, so sad, so sad. So the funny thing is, is they didn't vandalize any of those two. Those are actually perfectly brand new and just fine, but that is the only one they vandalized. And what they're writing is the complete opposite of why I do this. It's not because I'm broke. I am a registered nurse. I have a good profession. 
but it's because I want to save the world one dumpster at a time. Like, come on, people. This is such waste. You can donate it, make a little kid's dream come true. Maybe they wanted a fish tank their whole life and their parents couldn't afford it. But here they are writing Sharpies and profanities on these things. It really is so disheartening. But I guess I understand. Well, not really understand, but I get where they're coming from because now they have to work a little harder to destroy all the stuff that I've been picking because their managers are being told to do so by these horrible corporations. Anyway, that's my rant of the day. <laughs> this is what we got at the Alta dumpster. It is a box full of souped up goodies. You know, it's however you look at it. Some people may view this as trash and I view it as treasure. Let's see what we can get out of it. This is what we got at the Alta dumpster. We got quite a lot of stuff from that box that looked like nothing or the box that actually looked like trash. <laughs> so let's dive right into it and see what we got. So we got a liquid glass smoothing shampoo. This was actually brand new and perfectly fine, but upon cleaning it, the outside started deteriorating. So it looks pretty bad now, but it is just fine. We have a Clinique Redness Solution Foundation, a L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, a Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation, and an e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. We have a beauty blender that is stained from all the stuff that was in the box, but if I keep cleaning it and put some alcohol on it, it will be just fine to use. We have an Ariana Grande perfume holder but the perfume wasn't in it, but it's still kind of cute. I'm sure it could um, be utilized by my daughter. Then we have the San Tropez Self Tan Extra Dark Bronzing Mousse, some Fake Bake Tanning Water, two of them brand new, two Nutri Curls Cleansing Conditioner and a Regular Conditioner, Kristen S Curl Defining Cream, a Fake Bake Fair Gradual Self Tan Lotion. This is brand new. The sticker is even still on it. Then we have a Wee Dad Advanced Climate Control Defrizzing Conditioner. A Wow Color Wow Brow Powder for dark brown hair. Then we have this Ulta Beauty Blushing, I think it's, yeah, Blushing Blooms Eyeshadow Palette. These could be repressed. All you have to do is crush it up, pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol in it, mix it to make like a little bit of a paste, and then you push it down with a paper towel to suck out the alcohol, and it represses beautifully. Then we have this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. It is the Tranquil palette. We have this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. The outside is suede, so it's kind of nasty. I don't know the name of the palette, but the shadows are just fine. Then we have this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette in, I believe it is like Acai You, I See You, I don't know. <laughs> and then we've got some lip products. We got a Kylie liquid lip in the shade Kylie, as well as the lip liner that matches. This um, lip applicator goes with the Kylie lipstick. This lip injection, it is a lip cream, no, lip glass. And we also have a Lime Crime Diamond Crushers lip gloss, and this cover goes with that. I couldn't find the Too Faced one. So these if you soak them in olive oil, the color comes out for the most part. It still is stained. And then you spray it with rubbing alcohol and it works just fine. And then we also have the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Shea Butter Vegan Lip Balm. We also got three eyeliners, all LA Girl. These are two Shockwave Neon Eyeliners and this one's the Pastel Dream. All you have to do for these is sharpen them down a bit and then spray it with rubbing alcohol and those work fine as well. We also have a Dermalogica Prisma Protect Light Activated Skin Defense and we have a Deeply Restoring Precaxi Recovery Oil Conditioner.
We also got two of these fake tanning mitts. I believe this is like a headdress to like cover your hair at night. I'm not exactly sure, but it has foundation on it. I have to clean it and then I will donate that. A pair of black disposable gloves and a bunch of eyelashes. These are Kiss individual eyelashes and it came with lash glue. And then this is Eyelore London Pro Magnetic lashes and I am obsessed with magnetic eyelashes. They look super good. So I think the Ulta dumpster was a success this time. This is what we got at the Big Lots dumpster. I'm filming inside because it is 98 degrees outside and the last time I did that my phone shut off 17 times because it kept saying phone is too hot. I'm like oh good great. <laughs> so to avoid that I am inside this time. So, we got some Wasa gluten-free original crackers. The box is all gross because if you remember, the Big Lots dumpster was full of like French dressing and like other gross like soil and it just was like really disgusting. So a lot of this stuff was soiled, but I was able to save some regardless. So I saved the four packages inside as those weren't soiled, only the box was. Some Cinnamon Toast Crunch, there are two giant bags inside. A security lamp, it is solar powered, so that is super cool. I can't wait to put that on the side of my house since it will just turn on if like someone's out there, so I love that. Then we have these beef flavored sticks for dogs. Some. Ajax bleach alternative soap, dish soap. We have a binder and a can of Canada Dry. We have some Little Debbie glazed donuts, some Drake's Funny Bones, which I have never heard of, but they sound delicious. Some Ring Dings by Drake's as well, and some pink Himalayan salt. We also got this umbrella pedestal, or I don't know what that's called. You put it in the backyard to hold down your umbrella. <laughs> and then we also got these two big ticket items. This is a Dirt Devil vacuum, express vacuum, and they didn't cut the cord. And this is a Clorox microfiber spray mop. The um, little mop head is missing, but I was hoping maybe I could just purchase that on its own and then it would work perfectly fine. We also got 15 of these Welch's Tropics Giant Freeze Pops and two of these Evolve Classic Super Premium Food for Dogs and Bella. Bella's checking it out. <laughs> oh, bless you. They are cut, but I will tape it right up and donate them to the animal shelter. Say bye, Bells. Bella, say bye.